Yo, what up guys? Today we're going to talk about the unions. I think we're the only division that people still don't know with who are going to who is going to pair with who against who. I mean, normally this is something that people are knowing at the first couple of days in the season, but not we, not our division. Everybody it's like every human for himself. Basically every alliance is fighting against uh, any alliance so i'm going to bring break down this for you to show you my personal opinion who is going to fight against who now this is gate four okay gate five at the gate five there is this zone where there is uh, lm with lb vp22 with vpg okay i'm going to just say the main alliances lm here is a uh, VP that is also have entrance in the in the zone three, and here is KPT. Now KPT have like six billion power, something like this, six zero sixty five billion power. Uh, on the other side, VP twenty two have close to our power. They have like uh, seven point six billion power, and we. As alliance, we are having like 8.1 billion power. I don't know from where we get that much power, but I, I think it was same as the VP22. But anyway, we're having this power, and with all these three alliances, is going to enter in the zone three. There is a separation only here after gate four. There is a chance to fight with somebody from the other three zones. So let's check here out the other three zones. On here on this side we have feet with right with TCT. Basically those alliances don't have any power. I mean from what I know. TC have oh my god, this one well powered 314 uh, million power. Right is having how much power they have? 2 billion power and a feet. I think feet was having some power. Be honest, um, they have <laughs> got half billion power. Basically, there is no power on this side entering in the other zone three. On the other side, we have AC and DC, and basically AC. I'm going to talk about the main lines. AC is having 10.4 billion power. I think DC is also having some decent power, if I remember correctly. They have to find DC. On the on the map, I cannot find DC. Where is DC? Yeah, there 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 it is. How much power was having? Six point close to five billion power. This is a lot of power from these two alliances. One I guess is the main alliance. The second one is a sub alliance. Something like, you know, AC DC. Anyway, they're fighting with the gills. Now gills have some power. Right now gills, they those. Those two alliances right now are in the fight. Gills having 7.2 billion power. Do they have full members? 10 members are missing. But yeah, they have 7 point something billion power. They was having way more power back in the days. But there is a two gills here. So I'm going to pick the one with the bear. <laughs> um... The sub alliance is also gills, which is okay. This one have 9.4 billion power. The other one was having 7 billion power. 7? Something like this? Yeah, this one is having like 7 billion power. Don't remember quite. Well. Yeah. So AC, DC are having exactly same power like gills and the other gills. Now, Inva, I don't count this last since they basically don't have any power 3 billion power but still they can be annoying if they decide uh for ac and dc now let's check it out how the things are going on this side uh currently they are fighting over this chicken this chicken is with crucial importance in general it's like five percent legion attack and Gios is losing against ac and dc Right now they destroy the final uh the final tower. There is some people who get burned. I, I don't know why people are in the front lines. They don't have power. Front lines and they, they they're AF, AFK. Anyway, 
right now ac is pushing gills now the only way that the ac can actually or gills they have to enter both together in this zone in this zone three after gates three open acdc is going to enter here gills with the other gills is going to enter here and feet is going to enter here now here comes the unions since gate five at some point is going to open if ac push away gills ac is going to enter alone here i don't count feet since they, they just don't have the power so ac is going to enter alone here on the other side if if for example we become in union with gills vp 22 and kpt become union with ac they're going to push us out of this zone in the zone three and uh, similar if uh, vp and uh, lm become in union with for example gills we're going to push out kpt and is going to be an ac is going to push out the gills so the only union i see in our division is actually ac going together with gills uh in the zone after gate five this is the only way i see on this side to to continue fighting and on this side, I see we together LM, VP22, and KPT go together. Just because any alliance who is deciding to go with other alliance is going to have great problem and not going to enter in the zone 5. If, for example, VP22 go with AC and AC is going to be in the zone 3, but LM and KPT is not going to allow um, VP22 to even enter in this zone so the, the map is something split it on this way the people who is in this zone basically feed ac and gills should go together or at least make a union if they go on this side of after gate five because if ac enter alone and they face lm vp 22 and kpt AC is not going to have that much chance for, of winning. And I don't think AC is going to be that stupid in not making alliance with the Gills. I mean, this is the only chance they actually have to, for winning. And why is important the winning? Because if you don't win your season, most likely your most powerful and competitive players is going to leave your alliance. This is always we see same stuff. <laughs> we always see same stuff. So, yeah, I, I think at the end of the day, we're going to see union between AC and Gills. Only if AC don't, uh, are not that brutal with the Gills for the chicken, because we see a lot of rallies here. A lot of people was get burned. I think like uh, five people or maybe six people get burned here. And yeah, they, they're not so friendly. <laughs> they're not so friendly in the world chat. But anyway, and right now we're fighting between ourselves, LM with VP22 and KPT. No one is knowing nothing, J just we fight for fun. Of course, the, the main point of this game is just to have a, your fun. So every every combination can, can happen. AC can enter alone in this zone and fight against whoever actually come from this gate fives just for fun. But if somebody want to make union for winning the season on this side ac should go with gills on this side lm vp 22 and kpt should go also as a union even note that ac and gills have a lot of power gills have sub alliance that is basically close to our power this is the sub alliance the main alliance is two billion more AC is in same position. The main alliance is over 10 billion power. The sub alliance is 3 billion power. So it's going to be very interesting to see what kind of unions is going to be created after gate 5. But yeah, we're going to see. <laughs> but even though AC entering with their sub alliance, that is having 
four a five billion power and we have eight billion power vp vp22 have like seven billion power and kpt have like 6.5 billion power all, all all together we don't have that many tier five players so it's even ac alone entering in this zone is going to be interesting fight and definitely that they're, they're not going to be an easy one so yeah this is over my overview over the unions if ac want to have um for sure winning they have to unite with us and on our side whoever decide to uh, go in union with somebody from the other side they're they're not going to even have a chance to go in the in the gate five the other two alliances is going to just attack them and not even let them go in the in the gate five so this is my short overview over what's going on <laughs> who is union with who my personal opinion and yeah so yeah i guess this will for this video see you bye